Hey everybody, this is uh, Andy with Elite Equipment Rentals. And I got a video for you guys today talking about how I made my first $10,000 in the dumpster rental business. But real quick before I address that, I just wanna explain what's going on here in the background of this video since we really won't be talking about it much after the fact. So uh, right here, I'm backing up to this customer's house. And basically me and the customer had agreed before he got there that he really wouldn't need a full 24 hour rental. So we agreed to do what's called a live load, which is uh, basically still the same price. I gave him a 10% break because I wasn't gonna be there. I wasn't gonna let it stay there for 24 hours. So I save a little bit on fuel, but uh, basically live load is just you go and they load it up all right there. So I wasn't just gonna sit there and let these people, older people throw stuff in while I just watch. So, I mean, they only had a little bit of stuff in their garage, so I, I helped them throw it in. Not that I include junk removal services, but I did help them throw in this stuff into the trailer. So I just wanted to address that here in the background. You're gonna see me, you know, throwing stuff into the trailer because I'm just trying to help out. Uh, I mean, this job worked out for me because I was kind of overbooked. Uh, this was a Saturday and basically instead of Renting, renting it to, to this renting it to this guy for the full 24 hours I was able to do the live load and then still take it to another rental after this So I basically had two rentals for this one trailer on the one day and like I said I was fully booked so all other three other trailers were out as well So it just happened to work out this way anyway back to the topic of today's video I want to talk about how I made my first ten thousand dollars of gross profit doing dumpster rentals it happened a lot quicker than I thought it would um, a little bit of background I started trailer renting and dumpster rentals in May of 2021 uh, and I, I quickly realized that it should and did become my full-time thing uh, in June so I was able to make my first ten thousand dollars of gross profit um, by July and that means that I made a little bit of money in May I made an okay money amount of money in June and then I made a good amount of money to me in July, three months deep. I thought that was great. And um, it was gross. So that was before all my expenses, but it definitely got me hooked to see that number pass 10,000 on my, uh, you know, on my, I use Stripe. So to see how much like Stripe had deposited uh, into my account for that month, it was, it was definitely addicting. So these are the things that I did to help me get to that. I found my customer. My customer is the residential homeowner, the people that don't have heavy amounts of trash, the people that do not care if it's only there for one or two days max. Um, one thing I learned about this business is that a lot of other people were going after the obvious. They were going after the house flippers, the real estate people. They were going after construction and demo jobs. They were going after other people that were, you know, looking for a dumpster rental. And my whole thought process was, how can I rent it to somebody who doesn't know they need a dumpster? And that's basically what I've been doing ever since. And I started working on that in July and it really, really did make a difference. Um, some of the things that I did to focus on that was I did everything I could to try to increase my awareness and my brand recognition on social media. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you don't like my Facebook page, you know, feel free, please give me a like because it does help out with the business side of things. Even if you will never be a potential customer of mine, it helps my potential customers see that I'm established, right? I've always said that that follower number and that like number is what gets you jobs. So some of my competition started you know trying to look for this homeowner they didn't necessarily have the backing because they don't have the follower number so uh i mean in july i was starting to quickly raise my follower number i, I think i had like three or four hundred followers on instagram in july and to a person who is just happened to stumble across your page and you have these photos and these advertisements on there once they see that you're established and that you have other photos and that you have a good amount of followers, normally they're willing 
to try you out or at least they're more willing to try you out right um and that's where pretty much all of my jobs came from in july was just focusing on the brand recognition and the brand awareness what i also did in july was i decided to wrap my trailers and uh, definitely you know the the trailer wrap has been controversial you know a lot of people have told me that it looks shitty or they don't like the way it looks but it definitely did a one thing for me it definitely helped me stand out uh i'm gonna have a picture here on the screen right now of how my trailers look and this red wrap this camo wrap was a game changer because nobody else in this area had that and uh a lot of people they just put like rent me on the side of their black or gray dump trailer and that's not what i was trying to do i was trying to figure out how i could stand out and that is how i was able to stand out was with that wrap so those were like two major things that i did in july that i feel really helped make a difference um i changed all of my advertising i changed my logo and i changed all of my photos to reflect this black and red and gray camo theme and i still do that to this day it's kind of like our brand right and i want people to see that and think of our brand even if it's on a small scale because still when people find us on facebook and instagram and they click the link we're established right and that's my whole goal is trying to look established to the customer um the the the, the biggest thing that i did really was the social media and uh my recommendation to any of you that are considering starting this business or maybe you already do this business and you want to increase your customer flow and lead system social media is huge and um, me personally i'm a huge critic and uh if you guys have a dumpster rental business i'm probably a huge critic of you and most of you some of you have asked me to critique and i have critique in your social media because a lot of them need work um there are a handful of companies that do this business that have a good social media presence and um a lot of the other companies need work and that's just like the bottom line and i look i look at social medias for dumpster rental people and trailer rental people from all over the country because i'm trying to see if there's anything that they're doing right that i'm not doing and i'm really trying to see at as a consumer what i bother what i click right if as a consumer does, does it look appealing to me or would i care to bother looking at this person for their services because what happens is like i said a lot of people they focus on the real estate the house flippers those kind of customers at first and those customers don't look on social media for a dumpster right they go to google and i wasn't looking to spend 50 dollars a click on google on seo and i'm still not looking to spend that so if you're an seo person right now i'm okay on google ads no need to contact me but the people that are on instagram their whole thing is on an impulse and so can you impulse sell them into renting a trailer from you and, and a lot of social media right now you can um feel free if you'd like leave your dumpster rental instagram or facebook down below in the comments and i'll give you my honest opinion of what i think you could do better in a video i'll respond to it with the video so feel free if you like me to go through your social media and tell you what i think you could do better feel free and again this is just my opinion um you know it's been working for me it might not work for you but the social media train to me is just endless because of how many people use it right the reach is unlimited and to me when we talk about oversaturation the market that is oversaturated right now is the people that are looking for the house flippers and looking for the demo jobs that's oversaturated the people looking for people that don't know they need it there's no competition and you'll see that in my TikTok comments i'll continue to say that i have no competition because i really don't there's nobody else that's marketing the same way that i'm marketing i definitely take pride in the way that i manage uh the social media accounts because i feel like it's our biggest money maker so why wouldn't we do it a thousand percent right 
and uh you know i would just recommend to you guys to take a look at your social media accounts and see what you could do better because there's money to be made on social media whether or not people on facebook tell you that it's a waste of time because uh i'm in a bunch of dumpster rental groups and yes people will tell you that instagram and facebook make no money you can make people will say oh yeah you can make facebook money on marketplace and posting in community groups but not with just your facebook page um, people will say to the death that instagram makes no money and here i am two three months deep my first three months i was making ten thousand gross off of basically just instagram i'm about to hit a year shortly i'm two months away from being a year in business and we're going to be far past the six figures mark of that year and i plan to be uh february to january next year well into the six figures mark as well so i'm really excited to see where this goes and i'm thankful to all of you guys that did subscribe and decided to watch the videos um if you don't subscribe to me feel free to subscribe I, i'll tell you more information about the dumpster rental business um if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if you want me to look at your social media feel free i'll take a look at it leave it down below and uh you know if you if you follow me on tiktok thank you for following me on tiktok i appreciate you guys and uh if you stayed and watched this long since i don't think really any of you guys will if you stayed and watched this long comment down below that you stayed this long and i got something for you thank you have a good one and uh peace out